Learning.net and C Sharp is very rewarding. You can build anything from console applications to web applications, mobile apps, and even games. You can also implement IoT solutions or build cloud native services. And you can apply machine learning or implement AI based applications. The best part is that when you learn the fundamentals, you can specialize in one or more areas and still use the foundation. The more you use it, the more you learn about the platform. And transitioning between one type of application to another becomes easier the more experience you have. This roadmap is built on my experience of more than 10 years using the .NET platform and more than 15 years in software development. When you start, there is much more than learning a runtime or a programming language. Learning about HTTP and other web protocols, algorithms, data structure, and much more is important when you want to become a software developer. However, the goal of this roadmap is to focus on C Sharp and .NET development. I put the topics in the order which I believe works best for developers new to the .NET platform. There are essentially no requirements to learning .NET development. If you are completely new, you should still be able to follow along. If you have experience in other platforms or programming languages, good for you. The only thing that I believe are valuable to learn before learning a specific programming language are how to use a command line interface and how to use Git. Git allows you to save your work and have multiple versions of your source code. And it allows you to go back if you mess up. First of all, it's important to know and understand how .NET works. There are different .NET programming languages. For example, C Sharp. The C Sharp compiler transforms your source code into something that can be executed by the .NET runtime. And the .NET runtime has either to be installed on the target computer or shipped with your application. Also, .NET has been first released in 2002. It's already been a long time and knowing about the history of .NET will help you understand how things work together. Terms such as the .NET Framework, .NET Core or .NET will become second nature to you. I strongly believe that you learn best when you not only consume, but also build something yourself and apply the knowledge you gained. To build something using the .NET platform, you have to set up your development environment. You can develop .NET applications using Windows, macOS or Linux. You can use the same programming languages including C Sharp, but the tooling might probably be different. It's important to learn about the cross-platform story of .NET. What I call basic C Sharp is a pot of different things. First, I suggest writing the classic Hello World program as a console application. Generally, I would learn all of the C Sharp and .NET basics using console applications. They have a low barrier of entry and a simple Hello World program is just a single line of code. There is a lot to learn about the C compiler, console applications and the fundamentals of the .NET platform. Value types, date time, strings, different operators, iteration statements, conditional statements are all things I'd consider basic C -sharp knowledge. C -sharp is a object-oriented programming language by heart. It also supports some functional programming elements, but at the beginning it's important to learn how to implement object-oriented programming using C -sharp. Terms such as classes, objects, constructors, methods, parameters, or fields and properties should become second nature when you've learned about object-oriented programming using C Sharp. There are additional topics on the roadmap that will help you understand the basics of object-oriented programming in C Sharp. After learning about object-oriented programming in C Sharp, 
there are a few topics that not necessarily connect with each other, but are important to make the next step. The var keyword is all over the place when you look at existing C-sharp code. And the same is true for the const keyword. Enumerations and structs are important data types. Also, understanding the difference between passing a reference type or a value type to a method is important. Exception handling and garbage collection are two functions of the .NET runtime. It's important to learn what you need to know as a C-sharp developer about them. Arrays and collections are very important data structures for most .NET application types. They store objects in a specific way. There are many different collection types and I suggest learning about the most commonly used ones. Advanced C Sharp is a collection of topics that I would consider learning after learning about collection types. Named and optional parameters, extension methods, the param keyword and generic types are all somewhat connected to each other. They allow you to implement a more flexible code base. Record types are great for building data objects and class libraries allow you to share code between multiple applications. Language integrated query or short link is a foundational feature of c -sharp. It allows querying data objects from different sources using a standardized API. Filtering, ordering, selecting and grouping data using link is important to understand. And the link query syntax is also helpful to know. When it comes to software development, automated testing has become a standard. It's not possible to learn every detail about test automation when you get started with .NET. However, Learning how to create a test project and how to implement a simple unit test using one of the test frameworks is a foundational skill I would expect from a junior developer in 2023. After following the roadmap step by step, you'll have a solid foundation about C-sharp and .NET development. You know how to create C-sharp code, how to build class libraries, how to implement console applications. That knowledge level is enough to fill a junior.NET developer role. There is so much more to explore. You can tackle web development using ASP.NET Core, or you can start to implement games using Unity, or build mobile apps using Xamarin, Xamarin Forms, or .NET MAUI. Or you can even learn a second programming language for the .NET platform, for example f -sharp. The .NET world is open to you. You can download a high-resolution PDF of the roadmap using a link in the video description. I'll be completely honest with you. Nowadays, you can learn almost anything about programming including c -sharp and .NET from free resources online. For example, this YouTube video other YouTube channels, blog articles, newsletters, and much more. The availability of information is not an issue when learning about software development. The difference between free and paid resources is usually how much time people use to produce them. It will also affect how much time you will spend to learn and fully understand a topic. Free resources often take you hours, if not days or weeks to complete the curriculum. They are very efficiently created, but they are not efficient to consume. Also, when learning from different resources, repetition is very common. When learning on YouTube, you will spend a lot of time watching ads instead of learning .NET development. Most paid options have a community that help you keep on track and stay motivated. You can also connect with fellow learners. Also, there are no ads or anything else that distracts you from learning .NET development. You can focus on what's important to make a step forward. Teaching software development, especially C-sharp and .NET, is a huge passion for me. 
It's the reason why I created this YouTube channel almost 5 years ago. However, I can only spend limited time creating free videos for YouTube. That's why I created my .NET development course on Zero to Mastery. Zero to Mastery is a coding academy with a broad selection of programming courses, all created by hand-picked industry expert instructors. My course exactly follows the roadmap I highlighted in this video. It includes quizzes, exercises and projects that you can implement and put on your portfolio. It will save you a lot of time that you can spend with family and friends instead. Click the first link in the video description to learn more about Zero to Mastery. Full transparency here. I will earn a small commission if you sign up to Zero to Mastery using my link in the video description. However, I would only recommend something that I am 100% sure is a great product. Also, I personally invested more than 400 hours to create this course. I wouldn't do that if I wasn't convinced by the product they have and the people behind their community. As a gift to my YouTube community, I offer the code FRIENDS10. By using the code FRIENDS10, you will get an additional 10% off forever. I wish you all the best on your .NET development journey. And I'd love to be your instructor at Zero to Mastery.